Welcome back, friends. Hey, our next guest, Ben Easley, joins us from Citizens Energy Group, and he has a chance for you to win some Colts tickets by becoming water wise this month and reducing the amount of water you're putting on your lawn. Hey, Ben, how you doing? I'm Hi, well. Are ben. you guys ready to dance this morning? Yeah, I think ready we to are. Dance. Okay, excellent. You have a little surprise coming up, a little dance to teach us, That's great. and a little video as well. What's going on? So the campaign is online. You can see that on our social media. But what we want to talk about first is water conservation. Okay. We find that in these long, hot summers, 50 to 70 percent of the water that's produced in central Indiana, this is like produced to drink and water grade is just cast on the ground as lawn irrigation, hmm. often because people just don't understand that an Indiana lawn probably only needs water twice a week. Okay. And if all of those automatic uh, irrigation systems are pulling at the same time, that's a lot of water, that's a lot of stress on our infrastructure, which mm. can lead to expensive and costly maintenance. And all it takes is one homeowner at a time to just reduce it just yes. a little. I mean, you're, yes. you're planting the seed in my mind right now. I'm like, I need to switch that. Yeah, I think yeah. we're doing maybe three or four times a week. We just got to go to two. Just dial it back a little okay. bit. Bring it back. Another yeah. way that you can uh, work with your neighbors, if you're, if you're friends with your neighbors, sure. is to stagger when you use those automatic lawn systems. Okay. So if the last number in your street address is odd, water on Monday and Tuesday. Huh. If it's even, water on Tuesday and Friday. That's a that great tip. Well, that's a yeah. Good. And it'll save you money. Yes, it will. That's right. Yeah. So let's talk about this challenge. You have a little video you want to show us? Yes, absolutely. So the 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 video is probably playing next to me. I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? We'll yeah. talk to it right now. Let's, let's see it. Let's see okay. this video. Take the twice a week challenge. Twice a week, twice a week, twice a week, twice a week, what a wise! Twice a week, twice a week, twice a week, twice a week, what a wise! Take the twice a week Clever. challenge. <laughs> yeah, oh, so wow. obviously full it. dad mode here with the full oh, dad. And oh, the shoes yeah, and new balances, all that. Yeah, exactly. yes. that's well, great. Well, I think we have a special guest that can really um, help us to learn this dance. Absolutely. We have partnered with our conservation partner at the Colts to hype us up and to uh, help us with our so, uh, twice a week social media challenge. Yeah, we got Kayla from the Colts. Hi, Kayla. Yes. Okay, Caitlin, you are the expert here. We need to learn from you how to do this dance the best way. Absolutely. So we are going to do left hand behind the head. Left behind the head. Water here and hit us with the words. You got it? Twice a week, twice a week, twice a week, water wise. Okay. Here we go. Ready? And. Twice a week, twice a week, twice a week, twice a week, water wise. Twice a week, twice a week, twice a week, twice a week, water wise. Twice a week, twice a week. Excellent work. Okay. Easy enough. Yeah. Easy enough, and now that's going to be stuck in my head all day, which is yes. the point. That's, that's the all you point. need. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so, so get fun. it on video, tag us, use the hashtag. You've got the entire month of August yeah. to do it, and then you could win a pair of uh, Colts tickets to the Cleveland Browns game in October. That's oh, great. Wow. Okay, okay, so there's all the rules for this twice a week challenge. Post a video of yourself doing that dance, and then post it up there with Citizens Energy Group. Guys, thank you so much. This is a fantastic opportunity, not just to win some Colts mm -hmm. tickets. That's always fun but really to help out uh, this water supply uh, issue here in central Indiana. Guys, thanks so much for Absolutely. being here. Thank yeah. you so much yeah, for ben, teaching Caitlin, us thank you. and of for being here. Of course. Yeah, fun way to spread the message. And again, all of that information, if you need to go back, we'll have this online too if you want to take part in that chance to win the tickets. Thank yeah. you guys. Jill, let's go to the sprinkler as we close the show right, with the in and out pop quiz. Yeah. Twice a week, twice it. a week, twice thanks, a week. Guys, what was? Thank you so much. Yeah. Well, we want to say thanks to today's sponsored guests for making the show possible. Plexiderm, author Amanda Hopper, and Sundown Gardens for the Indy Now Backyard. And another thank you to the rest of our guests today, Citizens Energy Group. Thank you to the Colts and Colts Cheer, Premium Blend, and the Carmel Jazz Festival. Our Indy Cakes by Mo Love More and the Balloon Lady. What a fun, fun show. All right, we're going to be playing the pop quiz game. This is a trivia game. Our producer, Abby, is going to be reading the questions that we want you to play along with us. Hands behind the back. Here we go. Play along with us at home. Let's hear the first question. What is Jack Nicholson's famous line from The Shining? That would be, here's Johnny. Correct. Have you seen oh, The Shining? Oh, no. It's creepy. And I won't. I'll tell it's you that. It's creepy. It is, oof, I yeah. I like it's, to sleep at night and not think of it's scary creepy. things. It's creepy. Yeah. It's good, but it's creepy. <laughs> okay, next one. Family Guy takes place in what state? Uh, see, I don't uh, know, and you know. Uh, Rhode Island. Correct. Cohawk. You watch Family Guy quite I do. Often. I love, so fun fact that no one asked for, <laughs> Seth MacFarlane, uh, the creator of Family Guy went to Brown University, which is in Rhode Island. Oh, that's great. Oh. Okay. There you go. Thank you. I'll You're probably very welcome. forget that, but yeah, I love just learning. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Okay, question number three. <laughs> what actress lied about her age to get a part in that 70s show? What actress lied about her age to get... Caitlin from the Colts knows. Oh, 
Uh, Kerrigan said she's married to Ashton B. Lacunas. Mila Kunis. Yes. Okay. Caitlin, Caitlin from the Colts got that nice. one. Good job, oh, Caitlin. You knew that? Yeah, she knew it. She, okay, she, 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 point goes to Caitlin team. from Colts Cheer. Okay, yes. two to one. Two to one. Here we go. Where is the show Cheer set? Uh, that's Boston. Correct. Yeah, Boston Ash. Uh, yeah, go up fully field. Yeah, Boston. <laughs> Boston. 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 You're good at accents, too. Thank you. You really it's very are. very kind. <laughs> Thank you. I do love Boston, though. It's a great, great theme song, too. Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. Which famous TV series featured a reference or picture of Superman in every episode? Which TV what? show had oh. Superman yes. referenced? Oh, uh, what's the deal with Go Good? Uh, where's it gotta go? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Abby, that was a wonderful <laughs> Seinfeld impersonation. Correct. What's the deal? <laughs> what is Superman? I didn't know you were doing it. Person. That was really good, Abby. Anything for you guys to get the point. Oh, thank you. I didn't, I know, that, I didn't know that she had a Jerry Seinfeld impersonation good. in her. So you're not the only one who can do a No, Abby's been sleeping yeah. on us for a while. All right, next one. What character on Friends often yells, we were on a break? I'm out. I'm out. I know how you feel about Friends. I never watch Friends, but I just noticed from clips it's Ross. Correct. Uh, yeah. Yay. Good job, Joe. <laughs> Yes. I'm not gonna throw shade on friends. David Schwimmer. I'm not. That. Yeah. I'm just. You know what? If Friends is your thing, I'm very happy for you. It's not mine, and it doesn't have to be. <laughs> this is a very. It, nice. I don't know why it's so deep seated, but it just is. It's <laughs> so deep seated. Okay. All right. Here we go. Next. Next question. What is the name of the character who lives in a pineapple under oh. the sea? SpongeBob, SpongeBob SquarePants. Good job, Jill. I haven't seen that either, but you know. I think we're tied. Are we? I don't know. No, no one's keeping score. <laughs> Thanks, it. crew. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go no one knows one. what's going on. I just assume you're winning, typically. Oh, uh, you don't have to. You can crush it sometimes. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> Which Beatle narrated the first two seasons of Thomas the Tank Engine? Uh, that would be Ringo Starr. I don't He's know. He's coming to Indy later this fall. He's going to be at Old National. Oh, yeah. that's really cool. Yeah, not every day a Beatle nice. visits town. Okay. That's cool. I think this is the last one. Do we have time what for one popular more? boy bands include singers who all auditioned for the X Factor soloist? Uh, one Direction? Correct. Come on, there we go. Uh, Guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Have bye. a wonderful day. Bye.